It's so close. Eight to nine. Let's go ahead and tag up the fang. Let's go. We got the fang down. It is nine to nine. Can we go ahead and pop our gadget? Oh, let's go in the bushes. Oh. Welcome to the only Piper guide you'll ever need. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys the best tips and tricks to help you guys push Piper. So let's hop straight into the video. Now, first things first, when you guys are playing Piper, I highly recommend you guys play here on game modes like Bounty, Wipeout, and Knockout. Most because these game modes have a lot of maps that are going to be more opened up for you. And you're going to probably be facing a lot of other sharpshooters like Brock and Bell and Mandy, for example. Piper absolutely thrives in these kind of game modes where you need to be getting more kills and keeping your distance away from the enemies. As long as you guys are playing on game modes and maps where it's pretty opened up and you won't have a high chance of facing like tanks and assassins you guys should be looking good to go because those kind of brawlers easily counter piper say for example brawlers like leon and mortis get close to piper it's pretty much game over for you because the closer enemies are to piper the less damage she ends up doing to them now something that can help you guys out in case you guys do face aggro brawlers for example you guys can use her super to easily escape your enemies now when you guys use your super i try to recommend to people to land behind like an obstacle or a wall where you can stay protected also because if they are like literally right on top of you, not only are they going to get absolutely blown up by your grenades, but if you can go ahead and use your super to land behind cover, it's going to help you stay protected and this will increase your rate of survivability. But if you can't even do that where you try to land behind an obstacle or behind cover in general, if you can at least jump to an open area, that alone right there will help you guys survive at least a little bit longer. Now, Piper super is probably one of the crucial parts when playing against aggro brawlers. So it's important to try to charge it up as quickly as possible and save it when you guys can. It's always good to have a super saved up in your back pocket ready to use at your disposal. For example, like if you charge it up immediately at the start of the game and there's like a mortis that dashes onto you later on and you have it saved up, they are going to have a harder time trying to get to you because they're going to know that you can easily jump away and they're going to have a harder time getting you down. So just having your super alone can easily cause pressure and it's going to be more intimidating and the enemies are not going to want to dash onto you. Now something else Piper Super can be helpful for not only from escaping enemies, but also to destroy the map and help break walls effectively. If you guys are playing against throwers, for example, it can be helpful to break open those walls so the enemies are going to be exposed. Or for example, if you're playing against aggro brawlers like tanks and assassins, you can use your super to break open those bushes and they're going to be fully exposed. They're not going to have any way to sneak up onto you. Or even breaking open the walls to expose other long-range sharpshooter brawlers from hiding from you. Piper can outrange a lot of brawlers in this game. So if you can manage to break open the walls and prevent them from hiding from you, this is going to help you guys hit more shots and have an easier time of getting more kills. Now we know in a perfect world piper is not going to always be able to keep her distance from people because leon might have a super or crow might jump onto you so something that could help out with this as well besides your super is running the auto aimer gadget using this gadget will help piper increase her rate of survivability because they'll be slowed down and you have a higher chance of running away from them now the only time i would recommend this is inside a power league when you guys are drafting and you guys pick piper and the enemy tries to counter you by picking like leon or mortis for example you can go ahead and see this and it'll be like okay they're gonna try to counter me so i'm gonna go ahead and use auto aimer to deal with that other than that if you guys are going to be playing on the ladder homemade recipe is 99 percent of the time going to be the better gadget for you so if your teammates are smart and do pick counter picks to those counters then you can still go ahead and just use homemade recipe and just pray to god that your teammates deal with those enemies now a little bonus tip running the shield gear can also give you guys additional health and can help you guys stay alive against those kind of aggressive brawlers now i know i was just talking about a lot about auto aimer but let's talk about her actual better gadget homemade recipe now you guys have to be using this gadget like i said earlier 99 percent of the time when you guys are playing piper even though this gadget did get a nerf like the homing isn't as strong as it used to be. <laughs> It's still going to be a very good gadget because as long as you guys are shooting in the general vicinity of where the enemies are standing, this will just help out the overall homing mechanic of your gadget and hopefully you'll be able to still hit the enemy. Now, even though the homing did get nerfed, this gadget is still going to be very viable because it actually increases the shot range by an additional 1.66 tiles. The additional 1.66 tile range that is being added because of homing recipe will hopefully be able to close in that gap between the shot and the enemy. Now, something that's very, very important, I cannot stress this enough when using homemade recipe you need to be using the gadget right when you hit an enemy and you know your next attack will 100% kill them the main reason for this is because you guys want to be using that gadget auto aim it or just flick it as quickly as possible giving them less time to react to get out of the way or maybe use a gadget or some kind of super to avoid your shot will increase the chance of your homemade recipe gadget hitting and you getting that easy kill now something that can help out with dealing more damage overall with piper is using the damage gear i would highly recommend using damage gear because piper already does a lot of damage but she'll be able to easily do 
more damage, and since she doesn't have a lot of health, whenever Piper falls below that 50% health, that damage will go ahead and kick in, and it'll help her just deal a lot more damage overall. Now, something that pairs up very well with Home and Recipe is the Snappy Sniping Star Power. And 99% of the time, this is gonna be your go-to star power. Basically, if you guys don't know what Snappy Sniping does, it, whenever you hit somebody, you will instantly get back 0.4 ammo. So, if you think about it this way, the more shots you're hitting, the quicker your reload speed will be. And going back to the beginning, this will help you guys out in case there's like aggro or tanky brawlers that are rushing towards you. If you go ahead and use the Snappy Sniping Star Power and you auto-aim your shots onto them, you'll be increasing your reload speed and it'll help you guys deal more damage overall to them. Now, yeah, some people are probably gonna argue saying, Brent, if you're gonna be playing on a map like out in the open, for example, ambush is gonna be the better star power. <laughs> And yes, in those very niche scenarios, I can agree that Ambush can be a very viable star power. But overall, Snappy Sniping is still going to be the better star power because the more shots you're hitting, the more pressure you can additionally add onto the enemy team. Now, a pro tip I'll give you guys with playing Piper and to help you guys hit more shots is to aim a little bit in front of where your enemies are going to be running to. It's very important to analyze where the enemies are running to and what their movement pattern kind of yeah. looks like. Because Piper's shots are a little bit narrower compared to like a brawler like Brock, for example. So you're going to have a little bit of a harder time hitting your shots, but if you can aim at least a little bit forward where you think the enemies are going to be running to, this will increase your guys' chances of hitting more shots with Piper. Now, it is going to be harder to play these kind of single projectile brawlers because they do require more skill. Can you get the fuck out of my face? So what I'd recommend is you guys just go ahead, try out Piper, play her right now because she's absolutely broken. Well, there you guys go, a complete guide on how to play Piper. Make sure you just let me know in the comments down below how much trophies you have on your Piper. If you guys enjoyed that brawler guide, I highly recommend you guys go check out this brawler guide right here.